Hello, and welcome to part three of easy to make biodiesel. What I'm going to do now is separate the water at the bottom. I'm separating the oil from the water. You see how clean that is? You don't want the water going in. Okay, so I'm going to put an element in, and heat it up to above 50 degrees or above. If it bursts into flame, you know you've gone too hot. Keep it to the center. Heat that oil one final time, just to separate it. And then we're, we're on our way. I'm touching the sides of it, and it's pretty hot now. It's nice and hot. I'm going to pull the plug out. Pull the plug out. Never, ever, ever lift the element out of the oil with the plug joined. That is very dangerous. If I pull the element out now, I'll lift that off. If I pull the element out now, it'll burst into the flame. It'll burst into flame. And if that bursts into the flame, all the oil might burst into flame. So I'm not even going to show you. I have done it, of course. But before you take the element out, unplug the cord. Unplug the cord before you take the element out. You've got to have the element submerged, submerged, when you plug it in and when you plug it out. Right, plug that out, plugs out. Now I can take out the element to the other bucket and then back again one bucket to the other bucket then back again just to get rid of all the muck all the last of the muck at the bottom with this into the car straight into the car or maybe you can see how clean it is now I might the grey bucket I, I don't have much tape left. Hopefully you can see. See that's the last bit in the white bucket. And there's some black stuff right at the bottom. That's what we don't want in the engine of the car. There I've got it from the container. Into the pump. And into the petrol. Into the car. Into the car. From the container and through the pump into the car as easy as that you don't even have to pump it just set it and wire up the handle so it's stuck